Hello, Biotube. Bot shots are back again. This time we have Transformers ones. And they come with their launchers. I realize the blue tires are accurate to this version of Optimus, but that and the red trailer just seem a little cheap. Prime comes off looking a little too blue and Megatron a little too black. And much like the Shinkalion bot shots we talked about earlier, there is no rock, paper, scissors gimmick, which is a little disappointing because the molding is there for it in the Transformers case. Anything to save a buck, I guess. But you know, I'm just happy that we have these two lines of bot shots back in action. Really cool. Honestly, would love some Brave Series bot shots. Would be a great way to get Dran's sons. And we have our Quintesson High Commander, which is quite a departure from the Quintessons as we knew them, but it's actually a pretty cool design. Many are saying this is going to be their Quintus Prime in their collection, and I don't blame them. It's a really neat redesign, and the ship really looks like the head of a creature or something. Pretty spooky. This one has a very similar vehicle mode to the Titan Changer, but it's yet another gimmick figure with a removable matrix, which is amazing. The blue arms, I feel, are a little bit much. But I guess they do well to hide the arms in vehicle mode. I mean, if you can barely see them in robot mode, you can barely see them in vehicle mode, right? Still, really cool that the gimmick figure comes with a matrix. Then we have Energon Glow Bumblebee. It was a pretty neat warrior class bumblebee with a light up gimmick. The vehicle mode looks particularly good and I'm sure when it lights up it looks even better. The one step changers. Optimus has been retooled to look more like his Transformers one self as has Mirage from Blur. And Megatron is pretty much just Cyberverse Megatron. It is interesting that they redid the front of Blur. I'm not sure it really works all that well, but hey. And as you can see, they retooled Optimus again to look more like his Transformers 1 cell. And he's just got his axe hanging off the back there, because why not? And then we have this Robots in the Skies inspired Megatron. And it's pretty cool. He's got a Minicon that he can shoot out just like a Zomor. The Minicon really reminds me of Laserbeak, but it really seems like this more Soundwaves gimmick than Megatron, so it's kind of weird. And the alt mode really suffers for it. Imagine being. Hope you liked it. Links below.